Toronto's like, I see Detroit Legacy's two goal deficits. Let's test that out multiple times. Oh my. First off, Morgan Riley. What a great signing. Wife let me wear the jersey today. And you know what, that diving uh, recovery, let's call it, that led to that Tavares goal. There you go. And speaking of him, how many different teammates or line mates did he have tonight? Started with uh, Dermot. Dermot had a rough game, I felt. Next, you know, Brody's out there with him. Oh, let's throw Lilligren out there, Sandine out there. He was playing with everyone. It was like, Riley, just keep playing, keep playing. Um, Leafs win 5-4 against a Detroit Red Wing team who are surprisingly good. Grice, he's, he's been good uh, last year. Eh, this year, I'm sure he's, gonna, he's done well. Uh, they got Najokovic, obviously he didn't play. But they got some kids, don't they? Valeno cam comes in. That four-hour trip with Iserman, they kept talking about it. Must got some tips. Uh, full of confidence. Great movement there. Fed Nemestikov for that goal. That one goal was great. His goal was just a goal scorer's goal. But Mort Sider, he's, he's so good. Uh, first nine games, eight points. He has more points than what uh, Lidstrom did. Um, what a stud. I'm so glad in my Dynasty Fantasy League I traded uh, I traded for him. Could have had Luke Hughes, but I want a Mort Sider. I like it. I like that trade, and I like what he brings. And Detroit, they got Edvinson coming in, who's now like the next what Mort Sider was last year already. This team is going to be good. And they did well here without Tyler Bertuzzi because of uh, not being vaccinated. So that was an impact as well, and they're missing... Uh, you know, some of their top six forwards. Made it a game. Um, let, let's, let's go through the goals. Jake Muzzin scores with four seconds to go in the first period. TJ Brody, the assist. John Tavares with the assist. Jake Muzzin just threw it on net. Um, uh, before I even get to Jake Muzzin, his partner was not there. He was in the press box, Justin Hall. And at throughout two periods of this game, uh, my mind was... Lilligren's not going to come out of the lineup. Sandine isn't. Muzzin isn't. Brody Riley isn't. And heck, Dermot, how he was playing, he's not. How the game went, I expect Hall to be back in and Dermot to be up because I really liked Lilligren's game. Let me know down below what you thought of Lilligren. I liked it tonight. I did. It was like a, a glimpse a glimpse in what could be, and I was I was pumped. Um, anyway, let's get back to it. Jake Muzzin throws one on that. John Tavares drives the net. Goal. Beautiful. Lovely. one nothing. Going into the second period. Second period, uh, Detroit get on a power play, and it's Mort Sider getting his eighth assist, feeding Zadina. Snipe. Snipes it. And what sucks about it is just before that, Sider does a blind pass backwards. It's picked off by Engvall, who takes about three strides and he's at the other end. Rings it off the post. Detroit comes back the other way and scores. Because, of course, that's, that's how it happens. It has to. It has to. Um, don't fret, though, because the Leafs get a power play at the end of the second period, and the first unit does F all, because that's what they've been doing. But Jason Spezza comes over the boards, and Jason Spezza is Jason Spezza. It's like Jason Spezza with the Ottawa Senators all over again. He's just going, I got it, guys. Takes a shot, gets blocked. Bunting's fighting for it. Richie's fighting for it. Get it back to Spezza. Slap pass right to Bunting. Bunting had to hold down hard there. Gets past Sider. Gets past Grice. 2-1 Leafs going into the third period. Third period now, 17 seconds in. Detroit wasn't ready. John Tavares was what a play. Prius uh, Suter was confused. I think it might have been Letty was confused. Maybe Letty? I don't know who it was. Tavares, it looks like he's going to go behind the net. Nope. Feeds Kerfoot, who's in the perfect spot. Top corner goal. Doesn't need to get much on it. There we go. 3-1. Lovely. A minute and 15 seconds later, I think. Joe Valeno scores. 
It was Dermot. He had Rasmussen. He plays it back. Matthews, I th- he was too far to dr- uh, Dermot's right shoulder and not falling right behind him. He was like a step too far in. Puck gets past him. I think that's how it worked. Or whoever the guy was, he was fighting, Dermot was fighting with. Rasmussen passes out Valeno, back of the net. Great, 3-2. Uh, five, six minutes later after that, a um, little bit of stumble in the Leafs zone. Morgan Riley gets it, misplays it, dives, poke checks it out, goes to Mitch Marner, who puts his stick over top of, I think it was Nemestikov's stick, holds it down, perfect, puck goes through, right to Kerfoot, sauce pass, John Tavares ain't missing this one, especially with that pass, what a lovely pass by Kerfoot, boom, top corner, 4-2, Yes, Leafs. Two and a half minutes after that, <laughs> um, Joe Valeno comes in, makes William Nylander look like a peewee hockey player. Boop, boop, boop. Beats Nemestikov. Goal, 4-3. And then it was scary because they put Riley in the box because they said he had to stick to him. I didn't think he did. Definitely didn't. Turns out he didn't. He didn't. Uh, it was. They made the right call. They fixed it. Um, it was Detroit Red Wings' own stick. I think it might have been Rasmussen who got him in the face. Uh, either way, though, or either way though, four three Toronto at that time, and then with a little over two minutes to go in the game, Leafs dump the puck in. Uh, Grice has it, feeds it back to Letty. Mitch Marner comes off the bench. Tavares takes away the middle of the ice. Kerfoot, I think it's Kerfoot, takes the wing, and Marner just slides in behind Letty. Reads the play perfectly, gets his stick down, pokes it in the open net. First goal on 48 shots. First goal in bloody ages. Big smile with his brand new teeth. 5-3. Up by two again. And it's the Leafs. 29 seconds to go. Scramble. Her uh, Mitch Marner's stick is broken. He made a good play, to be honest with you, along the sideboards there. Uh, I'm assuming everyone here has watched the game, obviously. Um, along the sideboards there, plays it with his hand to Muzzin. Muzzin rings it around the board. Detroit somehow keeps it in. Stick's broken. Marner goes to the bench. Gets Morgan Riley's stick, I believe. Morgan Riley's a lefty. Marner's a righty. He's holding the stick there. Puck kind of bounces out. It's fluttering out. Hironic just wires one top corner. 5-4. Uh-oh. All right. Next draw. Detroit gets it back in again, but Kerfoot gets the puck, goes up the wing, gets hooked by Fabry. All right, 12 seconds left. Power play, own zone, just hold it down there. Detroit somehow gets the puck, dump it in, go in, throw it on it, whack, whack, whack. Mrazek keeps his pad against the post. <clears throat> Leafs win 5-4. <laughs> this team, this team, uh, roller coaster. But I, no, I... I enjoyed this game. I enjoyed this game. I love seeing Muzzin finally get a goal. Um, I loved, absolutely loved Tavares, Marner, Kerfoot. What a line. They were great. Um, Nylander, Bunting, and Matthews. Bunting scored on the power play. They didn't get anything done tonight. However, Matthews had two outstanding plays. One was against Sider, where he pulls the puck to his backhand, and that's just a quick feed through the defender's stick, brings the stick over, shoots. Um, he missed one high and wide, the other one was stopped. Uh, he had a chance, tried to bury it, uh, like jam it through, and it literally sat on the goal line. Hey, boo. Um, he had his chance tonight. Willie, at one point, had Stahl on his heels, beside, decided to like turn and shoot. I want William Nylander to not do the captain and stop up every time. I want him to drive the net. He's got the speed. He can do it. He's got the shot. Um, Morazic, there's some that I think he he wishes he could have he could have got back. Um, the Zadina one maybe his glove was a, I think it was a little bit high and it went under it, but I'm not too worried about that. I thought he made some good saves tonight. Um, and yeah. Put it the same team, I guess. It's, what, five games at home? Put it the same team? Or if anything, don't take Lilligren out. Don't take Sandy out. Not Riley, not Brody, not Muzzin. Dermot out, haul in. I'm cool with it. 
Uh, let me know what you think. What do you think of uh, Justin Hall in the press box? Is he going to be in next game? Let me know what your thoughts about uh, the game overall. The future of the Detroit Red Wings. Toronto's now, what, what they, got, they got four wins now. Let's, let's see, where, 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 where are our Leafs at? Four, four, and one. Fourth in the Atlantic. There we go. Detroit's third in the Atlantic. Four, three, and two. Making leeway. Making leeway. Well done, Leafs. All right, I'll see you next game. And as always, go Leafs, go.